Hallo zusammen. This video is dedicated to a German entertainer and TV revolutionizer, I guess you can call him as well, who has really followed me along the way through my uh, teenage years and even up until now. Even though he might have retired a couple of years ago, his influence on the uh, whole German media scene, television, entertainment and all that kind of stuff, that still echoes on to this day, I'd say. And that is one of the reasons, only one of them, why I want to make a video about Stefan Raab and how he basically revolutionized German television entertainment. <laughs> Stefan Raab was born in Cologne, Köln, in 1966, where he also grew up. At the age of 21, after he came back home from the German basic military service in 1987, he began to study law for five semesters. At the same time, he also was a trainee in his parents' butcher's shop. In 1990, he finished his traineeship with the highest grade sehr gut, an A basically, but decided to quit university. Rapp began his media career in the same year when he started composing promotional jingles for companies as a freelancer. Many of his short music snippets were used in ads or for German TV productions around the time, and with growing success he also started to produce German bands and musicians. After having offered a jingle to the former German music TV channel Viva in 1993, he was casted as a moderator, a host for the show Vivazion, in which he interviewed musicians and other celebrities in a humorous, almost anarchic, funny way until the show's end in 1998. From 1996 to 1998, he also had a second Viva show called Makuken, which was sort of a parody on the typical Saturday late-night interview shows, since it was pretty improvisational. Many of Raab's later events and productions have their origin in those two shows, and it was also the show's producer Markus Volta, who basically is considered to be the one who discovered Raab's talent and prepared the way to his later career. Especially in the 90s and early 2000s, he also composed many well-known compositions that were either used as themes on German TV or even as songs for Europe's biggest music show, the Eurovision Song Contest. In the year 2000, he even attended the show himself with the track Wade Hade Dude Da, a fun pun at the expression Was hast du denn da? What do you have there? As a 90s kid, I think I first took note of him during the mid-90s to late-90s, when he also composed a track called Here Kommt Die Maus, Here Comes the Maus, which is basically an homage to the German TV show Die Sendung mit der Maus, the show with the mouse. That show began in 1971 and it still exists to this day. It's pretty much a children's show where everyday things, technical things, get expressed and explained in very easy language so that kids can also understand what's going on. Really, really cool concept and I've certainly enjoyed watching that as a kid as well. And he basically made an homage song to that, I guess you can say, which features the original melody, the theme melody of that show, and he basically rapped, sang around that. A really catchy tune and you can find both a link to that song and snippets from the show in the video description. After having left the music channel Viva, Rapp began his most well-known show TV Total on German private TV channel Pro7. From March 1999 to the end of his career in December of 2015, he was the show's host and mastermind. Since 2001, the show was broadcasted four times a week, usually late in the evening. TV Total sort of was a loose mix of rap commenting news lines, headlines, news articles, funny TV snippets and similar things, in addition to having celebrities and other people with an interesting story in his show. Next to other things, production-wise, the show was known for his moving desk, or his desk aisle, desk island, whatever you want to call that, with which he could navigate to the stairs, meet his interview partners and then ride back with them to the middle of the studio wall by using a joystick on his desk. In addition to that built into his desk, he also had a so-called button console consisting of 18 buttons. He could play very short funny TV clips and snippets by pressing one of the buttons according to the context, whether it was in one of his monologues or during an interview. At the start of each episode, a member in the audience was given a microphone and read a written text about the episode out loud, what would be the topics of the show, who would be the guest, and also including an introduction of the host Stefan Raab. 
especially in the 2000s, but also until Raab's public retirement in 2015, I regularly enjoyed watching TV Total and its offshoots. Next to Germany's biggest and most renowned late night show, Wetten das, Wanna Bet That, which lasted from 1981 to 2014, which also was considered Europe's biggest TV production at the time, TV Total pretty much was Germany's big and in the mid 2010s, even pretty much the only really big German late night show left at that point. We have more of them nowadays though, but even though they can be entertaining as well, I'd personally say that it's hard to get to the production quality and to the level of TV Total and especially all the related shows. And that, ladies and gentlemen, to me is the biggest reason among others why I personally consider Stefan Raab to have revolutionized German TV entertainment in the early 21st century. Even in TV Total, Raab began an irregularly broadcasted series of short documenting videos called Raab in Gefahr, Raab in Danger, where Stefan Raab would try out different sports, activities or things. For instance, I vividly remember him joining a stunt flight pilot and looking very exhausted in midair, which was extremely funny to watch. In 2001, he also introduced his sidekick, Elton, to the show, who always had the humorous role of a show trainee and who also had his little own video clips in the show. He joined Raab in pretty much all events that took place later on as well, and after the end of 2015, he continued and still continues to take place in several other German TV shows and productions. Back in 2003, Stefan Raab produced the TV Total VOG WM. That leads us back to the aforementioned Wetten Das. Because when he was a guest in that show, Raab promised to run down a bob run in a VOG. And apparently, since that was so hilarious and he really enjoyed that, that was then turned into the mentioned Vogue World Cup, the Vogue VM, which was annually broadcasted with many German celebrities taking part who basically raced against each other. Similar to basically every other TV Total offshoot and rap productions in later years, this show was produced like a real sport event but again with a humorous, hilarious, entertaining, sarcastic undertone. I won't mention every single rap related show in this video though, because frankly, there are so many of them and all of them had something unique and interesting to them, I'd say. Uh, and they were either broadcasted annually, monthly, or even weekly at times, like really big productions. All of these shows had something unique to them, but still a recurring character, so you could really say and see, okay, it's a rap event, a rap show. And that alone is a really, really cool thing, I'd say, that I really want to highlight here. And yeah, just miss those days. Good examples for those shows were Das große TV Total Turmspring, The Big TV Total High Diving, the TV Total Stock Car Crash Challenge, including a big trailer crash race as the final of the show. Really cool. And even though he didn't invent the sport, Stefan Raab managed to make Autoball, Carball, basically playing soccer or football with cars, popular again. And that was before Rocket League, by the way. Despite having established himself as one of Germany's most relevant and successful TV producers and entertainers, Stefan Raab has also kept a passion for music. From 2005 to 2015, he held a German music contest show similar to the Eurovision Song Contest, which was called Der Bundesvision Song Contest. In that show, one artist or band from each of the 16 German states performed in the show and people watching that on TV could choose who would be the winner. But even people who don't know anything about German TV at all might at least have seen Raab's face before. Because in 2010, his sort of brainchild, Lena, won the Eurovision Song Contest with her song Satellite. And he, for instance, was seen on screen during the show and in the press conference later on. So up until this point, I've mentioned many different things and shows, events that he has managed and curated in a way throughout the years. But I haven't mentioned one yet. And there's a specific reason for this, because I personally think that it's this show that really, really made him one of the greatest German entertainers of all time, in my opinion at least. And that show was called Schlag den Raab. From 2006 to 2015, Stefan Raab played against a changing contestant in each show, which were monthly live shows. 
The TV viewers could call in for their favorite contestant out of five possible ones at the beginning of each show, and then the one with the most calls became Rab's opponent for the show. In up to 15 different games from sports to quizzes to really unique and hilarious funny tasks, the player fought against Rab. For game 1 you could win 1 point on the leaderboard and for game 2 it was 2 points and so on up to 15 points. And the one who managed to reach 61 points in the show won it. Per show 500,000 euros were in the jackpot. And if Rab succeeded the 500,000 euros would go into the jackpot for the next show which would then be about 1 million euros or even more. And of course if the contestant the player succeeded they won the whole jackpot. Back in the day, especially from around 2009 onwards, I regularly enjoyed watching this monthly live show with my friends. We could have a barbecue for instance and then just enjoy talking to each other while watching the show. Honestly, great memories from that time and I've pretty much watched every single Schlag den Rab episode since the show's end. Even though depending on the games and the evening, one show could also pretty much run for 3 to 4 hours. Both during the show's runtime and after 2015, offshoots and related shows were produced. For instance, Schlag den Star, Beat the Star. The latest offshoot of Schlag den Rab is Schlag den Besten, Beat the Best, which has been produced since 2019 and it's hosted by Elton. To my knowledge, Schlag den Rab and I guess many offshoots of TV Total as well were broadcasted and marketed to other countries and other parts of the world as well and that again shows how highly successful those shows were on German television. However, in June of 2015 both Rab and the TV channel Pro7 announced the end of his TV career in December of 2015. Rab stated that the split was amicable in the best way possible and ProSieben praised him for having invented so many shows and for having entertained many generations in more than 20 years. Rab's own production company Rab TV still produces shows to this day and this year he was a producer of the Free European Song Contest which was a, again, humorous alternative show to the cancelled Eurovision Song Contest because of the coronavirus. In 2018 he gave three big live shows in a German football stadium in which he performed songs with multiple guests. Apart from that he hasn't really appeared in front of a camera ever since his career ending in 2015. To be fair though Raab also got criticized by many people throughout his career, especially for making fun of people that appeared in other TV spots in his show TV Total. I do get why people might be upset about that and there have been a few, well, kind of problematic situations in which Raab was sued and he also apologized for that but generally speaking I think if people decide and agree to do something in front of a camera and in the public eye therefore, they have to be aware and live with the possibility of people reacting to that, positively or negatively. You know, that's just the way it is and that's my take on that. I never went to a show of his, an event, whether it's TV Total, whether it was um, Schlag den Rab, especially that one, um, would have been so cool. And I know that for a couple of months, like me and my friends were talking about the possibility of going there and attending one of those events together, but for some reason we didn't get around to do that and didn't buy tickets. That is something that I sort of regret and if at some point, in some distant future parallel universe, I don't know, there might be an opportunity to see him live and uh, witness one of those shows again. I would certainly go for that. Either way, you can find many clips of his shows on YouTube and even full episodes of certain ones, for instance Schlag den Rab. It might also be a good way to really practice your German listening skills. Anyway, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this or my other videos, feel free to share them with others. That is greatly appreciated and helps the channel a lot. Thanks for doing that in advance and once again, thanks for watching. I'm your vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.